Hi friends, Krista here. Thanks for stopping by Books and Jams. Today we are going to be talking about my April TBR, or should I say my lack of an April TBR. Ah, I'm so excited. I don't think I have yet had a month on YouTube in the last five years without having a TBR. First of all, I should stop and say that April is my booktube anniversary. We'll talk about that later in the month, but April, towards the end of April, 21st, I believe, is when I posted my first video five years ago. I cannot believe that I've been doing this for five years. I love it. And I still love it. I loved it then. I love it now. I am so excited to still be here. But in those five years, I don't think I've had a single month that I can remember where I did not make a TBR. And I'm really excited to not have a TBR in April. So I do have two books, three books, four books. I have four books to talk about and I'll explain about them in a minute. And I will have one more book that will be added to the TBR based on my patron pick. Or one of the levels of my Patreon is that you get to recommend a book to me each month and I will put all those recommendations in a hat and pull one out and read it in that month. So that will be added to this little itty bitty teeny TBR. But I also have a Patreon book club every month and I gave them these three choices for a read in April. The choices were The Book of Lost Names, Miracle Creek by Angie Kim and Big Lies in a Small Town by Dan Chamberlain. You guys that are patrons, you're killing me because these two were locked in a dead tie for a really long time. Not a really long time. I mean, it's been only a week since I posted it, but these two have been locked in a dead tie pretty much all along the way. So what I had to do was I messaged people who voted for this one and said, if you had to pick between these two, which would you pick? So I do have a winner, but I need to let you know that this one did not get picked, <laughs> but I still plan on reading it in April. Number one, it was a book that was recommended to me at the beginning of the year. Number two, I have loved both other Diane Chamberlain books that I've read so far. And so I'm really excited to read this. So I'm kind of doing a mini buddy read group with those people who chose this one if they want to. I've only heard back from one, so maybe I'll just buddy read it with her. But <laughs> um, I'm excited to read Big Lies in a Small Town. In this book, we have dual timeline. This takes place in North Carolina. In 2018, Morgan is put in prison for something that she didn't do, apparently. And while there, um, she gets tasked with refinishing or, or uh, refurbishing a mural at the post office in this small town as part of her penance or whatever for, I'm not exactly sure why. While she's doing it, she starts to discover and uncover some things about the person who created the, the mural in the first place, which happened in 1940. And Anna was the woman who created this mural. She's originally from New Jersey. And throughout the uncovering of this painting at the post office, Morgan starts to find out stuff about this past timeline. So it sounds really good. I have loved Diane Chamberlain like I said, the other two books that of hers that I read, and I really want to read more. So I'm excited about that one. And then the one that we will be reading for my patron book club is The Book of Lost Names by Kristen Harmel. And it really only wins by one vote, which is crazy. I have this book because the lovely Nicole subscriber sent this to me at Christmas time. Thank you, Nicole. Um, but in this book, we follow Eva. She's a librarian in Florida. And one day while she's working she, in a newspaper that she sees, um, she sees a picture of this book that she recognizes as the Book of Lost Names. This book that she recognizes is a book that she was familiar with in the during World War II. Um, Eva is a Polish Jew, and she helped ch Jewish children to escape uh, from the Nazi regime. She renamed them, gave them false papers, placed them with other families, but she kept this book where she put all of their real names. But this book appears to be a religious text of some sort. And so there's some kind of code involved in this book. So I'm just really excited to read this. You guys know I love World War II books, but I'm just excited that it involves a, a, a current day librarian, but also her past and her involvement in helping to helping children to escape from the horrors of the Holocaust during World War II. I just I just think that it's going to be spectacular and I'm really excited to read this one. So this will be my patron book club book for April. So I will be reading this one. I will also be reading Miracle Creek. 
<laughs> because so many people, I, I this is not the point. I have to stop picking books that I'm so interested in reading. But it's good that a lot of other people are interested as well. Miracle Creek by Angie Kim, I've heard so much praise for. This one sounds a little bit different. Um, it's a contemporary literary fiction. Um, but in this town, ooh, where is the town? In Virginia. In this town called Miracle Creek in Virginia, there's a family who who owns this kind of machine, submarine type of thing, which supposedly has some healing properties. It can heal things like infertility and autism. But one day the machine blows up and two people, I believe two people are inside and die. And then we have this legal situation, the legal drama of the courtroom and the lawyers and everything uh, surrounding this case and what happened and who's responsible. Was it on purpose? Was it an accident? I don't know. But I've heard such high praise for this one and I'm really excited and it's very different from other things that I've been reading lately. So I feel like this will be a good pick for April. So this one will not have the discussion uh, on a Zoom call with my patrons, but it will have a discussion in our patron only Discord group. So if you picked this one, no worries. It's still going to get read. And then the last book that's kind of on my radar is a buddy read that I had planned for April, I believe, but I haven't talked to her recently. So I think I'm going to be reading The Star-Crossed Sisters of Tuscany by Lori Nelson Spielman. And this is a contemporary um, about some sisters, this family of sisters, family who travels to Italy. I think there was a curse placed on this family where the second oldest is not going to find love, um, but I'm sure. The second one is going to find love, I'm assuming. Um, I don't really know much about it. I just know it's going to be somewhat romantic and and take place in Tuscany. So, and family drama. And a, maybe a tiny touch of ma magical realism. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But I'm excited for that one. Happening in April is going to be Dewey's 24-hour readathon. And I am going to be participating in that. I believe it's the second weekend of April. But I'm a part of a Facebook group for Dewey's. And um, one of the things that they created this time around as you're getting ready for the 24 hour readathon is this fun game. <laughs> so you roll a die and you move through the board game. And there are things like read for an hour, read any book, read your favorite genre, read a contemporary, roll again, uh, read a short story, read a graphic novel, read a book to movie adaptation. Um, so I feel like this will be a fun way to choose some of my reads during the month of April. So this might make make its way into a vlog or something. I just think that that sounds really fun. I might also post in my stories on Instagram for people to choose to help me choose between two books. I may just I might just make my way through all of my library books that I currently have out. I might find my way to some series which are all over here that I'm in the middle of. I just don't know, but what I'm really excited for is to just look at my shelves and pick a book and read it right then without worrying about the TBR pile, which usually sits right behind me here, without worrying about what do I have to read this month? What did, what did I say that I would read this month? What did I commit to reading this month because of buddy reads and group reads and everything else? Um, I usually read 10 to 14 books a month. So having only four that are on my TBR leaves me a lot of room, a lot of wiggle room. I'm so excited because sometimes books get sent to me or sometimes I find something at the thrift store and I will be able to pick that up right away, which I don't ever do. <laughs> and I'm just really excited about the freedom. And it may not work for me, to be honest. I am someone who doesn't mind having a TBR. I like having my pile. I usually stack it with different types of books. Even as you can see here, we have like a contemporary somewhat romance, maybe magical realism. We have like a legal drama, contemporary literary book. We have historical fiction. And then we have this one, which is maybe historical combination, contemporary. I, I like to mix it up with some different things. Um, and I know middle grade March will be over in April, but I did not nearly get through all the middle grade books that I was hoping to in, in middle grade March uh, or the ones that have been jumping out to me. So there is a possibility a couple middle grades will make it into my wrap up at the end of the month. The world is my oyster. I have so many possibilities and I'm really excited to see what will happen. I'm hoping to find a couple fun ways of choosing books. I might use some randomizers. Like I said, I'll use this game from Dewey's. I will I will just have to keep you posted. <laughs> You're just going to have to wait and see. I'm going to have to wait and see. So that's it. I have these four books. These are going to get read in the month of April, but I don't know what else. Let's chat down below. Are you a big TBR person? What would you do if, if you stopped making a TBR? How would that go for you? 
how do you think it would go? How do you think it's going to go for me? I don't know. I'm excited. It's going to be a good reading month. I'm really excited about the having, having the freedom to just pick what I want, when I want. Who knows? It might stick. I don't know. We shall see. I would love to chat with you down in the comments below. We can talk about TBRs, about these books, about anything that you're excited to be reading in the month of April. Let's chat down in the comments. You guys know I love talking to you down there. I do my best to respond to every single comment. So it's the best part about making videos for me, for sure, is the connections with you guys. So thank you so much for leaving a comment and let's chat. I also have a whole bunch of things linked in the description box below. Feel free to check out all of that stuff. Give this video a big thumbs up. It really helps my channel and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will be talking to you in another video very soon. Bye.